The typical dancer is tall, skinny, long legs, long lines. It puts a lot of thoughts in your head, like I'm not good enough, or this person's gonna get the gig over me because she's skinnier. And I stopped caring about that by the time I was like 21. My name is Elena Lopez. I'm 5'5", five five. I have short legs. I have tattoos on my body. I have, you know, big curly hair. When I got more into hip hop dancing, I would see women with just all these curves and these beautiful shapes and being so confident. Rather than fighting the body that I was given, I just accepted it and embraced it and worked with it. When I dance, it's a fusion of all types of styles that I've learned throughout the years. Jazz, tap, hip hop, burlesque, vogue. If you think of yourself as a crayon, it's like, are you the brightest color in that box? There was times where I would go to a typecasting audition. You get to the next round based on how you look rather than being chosen based off of your talent. Well, why are you picking, you know, the prettiest girl rather than picking the best dancer? It took a big toll. It definitely like toughened me up. You can be your biggest enemy, but when you trust yourself and you love yourself and believe in yourself, you know, sky's the limit, I think. When I'm on stage, I'm just enjoying that moment and connecting with the people in the audience. But even though I'm performing for these people, mostly I'm just performing for myself. I think dancing is a form of therapy. If I can't say I'm mad at you and I don't want to talk to you, instead of hurting someone's feelings, I could just take those feelings to the dance floor. Just going out there and owning it and not caring what anybody thinks, that's when people are like, oh, she's cool, like, or you know, she's having a good time. I want to dance with her too you know, work with what God gave you. Take that and put it in your dancing and see what you can do with it and see how you can incorporate it. All I can be is like the best version of myself.